Hey guys, Val here, and I just want to introduce you to some good isekai anime that's not revolving around harems, actual aspects, and boring repetitive plots that come along with the whole basic isekai story genre. Okay, so these shows that I'm about to talk about have some very interesting characters that you can grow to like or even enjoy watching as they deal with their new lives in a brand new world. So, let's begin. So, first, A Sentence of a Bookworm is about a book-loving girl named Urano Mototsu, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, but oh well, who gets her dream job by working at a library, suddenly dies in an accident. With her last breaths, she wishes strongly to be able to read books. That is, yes, yes, that is her dying wish because, you know, she's a bookworm, so she loves books. That's her whole life's goal, to be surrounded by books. But luckily, she does get that second chance at life, but she later awakens in a whole new world. So this world that she's in is a little bit different than what she's used to. So the world is, well, I'll just talk about it a little bit later. So first off, after she wakes up in this whole new world, she wakes up in a different body that's unfamiliar to her. So this body has certain complications that you will see if you watch the anime. So I'm not going to spoil that for you. So let me see because I'm reading my notes. <laughs> okay, so everything about this world is a little different, but she's not going to let that discourage her. So she, her first thing that she tries to do is she tries to find a book to read. But unfortunately, due to her new life that she's living in books are not accessible to the lower class people because her family i guess you would say they're poor in a sense but they may be poor but they're rich in love and family but realistically yes they are poor so because of that whole class system for some reason a lot of people in her area do not have access to books books are extremely rare for anyone to acquire so this obviously puts this girl in a whole rage. She's like, this is not fair, so on and so on. So she tries her very best to do different things to actually get a book that she can read. She is desperate for books. She cannot live without books. So basically, you see her going through little adventures of her trying to figure out different methods to get actual books that she can read. She even attempts to, you know, make her own book. But even that is a little difficult. Um, but besides that, you get to learn more about her past a little bit the further you go into the series. This show note has two seasons, as far as, as, far as I know right now. Yeah, two seasons. I think a third season will be coming out. A lot of serious topics, a lot of dark themes happen inside this show. And the characters are lovable and wonderful. I just love how they're played out. But I would suggest that would be a good isekai anime if you're not if you're trying to avoid ones that have a lot of those aspects I mentioned before. If you don't, if you're not into that, if you're actually interested in learning about the character and something that's more plot driven and not just the more generic kind of story plots, then I would recommend this one for you. The second one I would recommend is called Paladin of the End. This anime so far has three episodes out, at least that I have seen. It's pretty interesting. So basically, I'm gonna read it. So basically, you know, the usual isekai, this business work guy wakes up in a whole new world who, yeah, he reincarnates fully. Like, full on, like, he's a baby. There's no, like, he would be, he had his own body or he isn't someone who's older. No, he reincarnates as a newborn so basically he is raised by three different characters which you will see up here you will see the guy with they're all undeads so all of them are on undeads so one is the guy with i don't remember his name but he has the red spiky hair like a porcupine the mummy nun and the ghost so all these guys this anime have some kind of this anime has like a lot of world building to it which is interesting to me which some isekais don't really delve into depending at least from what i've seen but this one has some very interesting world building oh i can't say words you get to explore so basically get back on topic so he is 
aware of his previous life. He does not like how he used to be in his previous life. He felt like he was a very selfish and inconsiderate man. So through the love of this new family that has taken care of him who are undead, it's made him want to become a better person. So you get to see him grow up little by little. Um, learns actually gets to learn the basic of magic because most isekai sometimes don't delve more into like the aspect when it comes to writing down spells and so on. So he learns about magic from the ground up. He learns about so the the fighter guy, yeah, the fighter guy with the porcupine hair. He teaches him basic combat. The old guy with the beard, who is the I think he's a mage wizard. He's a very smart guy who teaches him the basics of magic and the nun is more of the mothering type. She teaches him healing, something like that, but yeah, I'm, no, I am only three episodes in, but she's more of the mother parenting type, but she also helps raise him and teach him. Basically, they're all giving him certain aspects that helps him become a better person in this new life he wishes to live. This anime involves different kinds of gods, gods of death, gods of life, gods of wind, and so on. It actually builds up about the world, you get some more lore, something about humanity has gone kind of extinct in the current area that he lives in. So he wants to go figure out if there is any other humans around the world because where he's currently at, there's nobody there. He's born into a wasteland. So this anime can be very interesting. So. If you want to check it, good on you. If you don't, that's fine too. Either way, share it, talk about it, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so that's it for now. I hope at some point, if any of you like this video or would like to recommend me any videos I can talk about that I can delve into, please leave it down below in a comment. And thank you very much. Bye-bye.